Mr. Bigley. Hey there guys and gals, it's Gerbeagley with another episode of Gaming with Gerbeagley and I'm once again playing another random one shot from over on Itch.io. This is a game called A Bright Light in the Middle of the Ocean and this game looks really really peaceful. Apparently this is just like a walking simulator, there's no like objectives or anything like that. You're just here at a lighthouse and you walk around and you examine things and it's nice and relaxing and peaceful and calm. And that sounded right up my alley. I don't know if you guys have seen over on Twitter, but uh, on Twitter I've been a little bit, like, not stressed, but I've been a little bit, like, busy. I've been really, really busy. I've not been stressed out in any kind of way, but being busy is definitely taking its toll on me. I've been kind of tired. Uh, for those of you guys who've made my Twitch stream, you'll know that my eye has been twitching recently. Twitch and Twitch, haha. <laughs> but yeah, this game looks really relaxing. It looks like exactly what I'm looking for. So instead of playing some wacky, crazy, wild action game, I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna go to this little island here. Here, examine this lighthouse see what's up with this it looks really cool it looks very pretty ah yes look at that view beautiful hey there's a little seagull over here what's going on buddy oh that's not a little that's a huge seagull dude you're gigantic hello giant seagull can I come say hi to you that is a big bird hello can't interact with you I can swim in the water though that's interesting that I'm not like sinking maybe it's like really very, very shallow water. I guess I'm right by the shore, so it probably is. Oh, oh, uh, I was gonna just try to jump into the boat, but apparently you can just phase right through it. That's fine. Okay, that's good. Oh, and it's getting dark out. Nice, beautiful. I see a little town there in the distance. I wonder if I can go to that. There's this like little island here. This is cool that I can swim. I wonder if this is like completely open world or if it's gonna have like an invisible wall and I can't go much farther. Either way, very pretty already so far. This is exactly the kind of relaxation that I'm looking for. I love these types of games because they sort of just leave me alone with my thoughts and uh, I don't have to focus on an objective or, or doing crazy combos. Oh, okay. I thought I was going out in the ocean because I saw the way the water was moving, but apparently I'm just, I'm stuck here. I, I can only go towards this island. This is beautiful music in this game too. All right, so we got these like broken oars up here on the shore. I wonder if we can examine those at all. If they have any sort of purpose or if they're just there. Like if I grab these, can I go out on the boat? No? Okay, that's fine. And uh, what's down here on the beach? Uh, just uh, a dead end. So I guess we got to do a little bit of climbing, some rock climbing. Oh, look at this. Beautiful flowers. Absolutely gorgeous. Oh. All right, and they, they don't do anything. I can't like pick them or anything. That's fine. That's absolutely fine by me. We got a fishing pole. Okay. Can I go fishing? Can I catch anything? Can I fall off? I bet I can fall off. I don't want to fall off because then I'm going to have to climb up again and that's annoying. Oh, there's like a cruise ship in the background. Hello, people. Hopefully you're having a good cruise. Hopefully it's a good time. Phasing through some more rocks. That's okay. That's all right. Getting around obstacles is stressful, and we don't want stress. We don't want anything else that's busy, busy, busy. We just want stuff that's nice and calm and cool and collected. But like I was saying before, yeah, I love these types of games because, you know, some people are, are bored by these types of games. But me, personally, it's like I said, it's a nice break from reality. It's a nice way to... Oh, look at that. Isn't that lovely? There's gigantic birds up above. Those are fucking huge. Those are like dragons or something. <laughs> Those are cool though. I like I like the atmosphere of this game. It, it, it really does... Is that a shooting star I just saw? I think I just saw a shooting star, guys. Look at the constellations. Yeah, look at that. That's nice. That's nice and peaceful. Yeah, no, but I, I, I saw... Mark's tweet the other day. For those of you guys who follow Markiplier or watch Markiplier, you guys know that he's currently on a hiatus. And, uh... I saw that tweet and I think it was at just the right time because right now I'm taking on a ton of projects. I have a lot of travel plans. I'm going to be traveling to uh, to Pittsburgh next month. I'm going to be traveling somewhere else as well, um, which I, I, I'm not going to reveal that one quite yet. I'll keep you guys in suspense, but I've got some trips planned. I need to get ahead. I've been obviously editing a lot for Matt lately. I've just been trying to sort of catch up and get ahead on my schedule and by doing so I've been been sort of burning myself out a bit and uh, like I said it's not me being like 
physically exhausted. I'm getting plenty of sleep. I'm staying hydrated. I'm eating all those types of things that you guys always badger me about, which is very kind of you, but I am taking care of those things. I have survived this long after all, but I, I've been sort of just overwhelmed in the sense of there is so much work to be done. And as much as I love being productive, I haven't gotten time to like catch up with friends lately. I haven't gotten time for like myself. Uh, and uh, I haven't really gotten to hang out with Morgan as much as I've wanted to. And because of that, it's been sort of like not saddening, but it's something where I need to just take a moment and reflect on life now and then. And that's why, you know, I haven't been rushing the uploads or anything like that. I've been doing my best to get them up as consistently as possible. And this is not to say this is going to be permanent. I'm not going to, you know, just go like, OK, guys, I'm going to only upload three times a week. But, you know, I don't feel as bad about not being able to upload. I mean, I want to be able to. Don't get me wrong. I 100% want to be able to upload whenever I can. But when I don't, I'm not going to, like, tear myself down for it. Oh, I can peek in the window here. There's, like, a little, little bedroom. This is cool. Open. Yeah, I want to open this. I want to go in here check out what's going on in here. So I think it's important that there's games like this that exist. There's games that sort of let you just meditate a bit and ooh, grab B to toggle okay I can do that oh oh cool all right cool let's uh let's take this out take a look at that tiny town in the distance can we look at the gigantic birds in the sky perhaps hello giant bird oh my god there they are they're huge seagulls all the seagulls in this game are way too big at some point they're gonna get hungry I want to be inside for that uh, in the meantime Got some pictures of, of the giant seagulls. Look at the terrifying talon of the seagull. <laughs> oh god, that's an eagle, it looks like. I don't know. Either way, there's birds of prey about. We want to stay away from them. But yeah, you know, contemplative games like this are, are just great. They're wonderful. The, they're, it's nice to have your thoughts quieted down for a moment, and this game is definitely doing that for me. What's this one say? Encyclopedia of Birds, Volume 3. We have Moby Dick, which is easily one of my least favorite books of all time. I've read this book like three or four times. I used to be an English major in college, and I had to read that book a uh, number of times. And I just, good lord, there's just too much. There's too, too much to that book. There's too much going on. Now, it looks like there's a giant. How, how, how high is this? Oh, my. This is way up there. All right, well, we might as well start walking. Can I interact with my coffee cup? I guess not. It's empty. No one wants an empty coffee cup. Everyone wants a full coffee cup. Now, I did notice that the mouse sensitivity of this game is really, really low, so I have to keep moving my mouse across my desk <laughs> to continue to go up and see what's actually happening. Otherwise, I keep running into the wall like this. You guys have probably noticed I have really jerky mouse movements in this game. I probably should have raised the sensitivity Oh, well, that's okay. I didn't know that it was going to be like this. It's everything's nice and slow, a little bit sloth-like, perhaps. But like I said, it's it's nice to take a moment and just peer out at the world here in this, this scenic game. I like this a lot. No, no, this is really cool. It's nice to not have an objective I need to rush to. Who leaves books, though? Who leaves books on the staircase? A, someone could trip on those and it would hurt a lot because you'd fall down quite a quite a few stairs. Uh, and also B, it, it, they're books. Don't mistreat them. They're wonderful things. I like reading a lot. I do quite a bit of it, or used to when I had free time. Oh, I can actually like step out onto the windowsill here. That's neat. I'm glad I didn't phase through the window or anything and accidentally fall to my death. Ooh, music got really, really intense there. That was quite the crescendo. And there's a big old balcony here. Another book here. It's uh, Os Luciadas by Louis Vaz de Camos. I don't know that one. It's not one that we covered in English. What's this here? Some more art. Some diagrams of seagulls and the, and the lighthouse. Or is that a windmill? No, that's a lighthouse. The boat. Whole bunch of stuff. Really cool. Really cool stuff. I like the little details that have been put into this game. The dev definitely did like a good job as far as... Uh, putting putting things in here that seem mundane but at the same time are sort of peaceful to look at it's almost like getting a glimpse of someone else's life Ooh, i can oh god don't turn it on when you're standing right in front of it you idiot ah, i'm blind forever now treasure island 
Cool. I like that there's a lot of sort of like island and nautical themed books all around. Really cool. A lot of the classics too. Ah, oh, the light's actually rotating. That's cool. Can we jump over the railing? Jump to our death. <laughs> God. Uh, I don't know. I, I don't know if we we're able to, to jump. Can we jump down the staircase? That's what, this is the last thing I want to find out. I think we've probably explored everything we need to in this game. Like I said, really peaceful. It's nice to just take a moment, especially when recording a video to just sort of ramble here and, and talk. And I know that's a big part of why people enjoy the streams, the late night live streams that I do. If you guys haven't checked those over on Twitch, feel free to stop by. Normally I stream on Monday, Wednesday, and Saturday. Sometimes move that to Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday. But uh, yeah, it's a good time. We just all sort of talk and ramble. Whoa, ho, 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 ho. there we go. And there's no fall damage. I am impervious to death because I'm so relaxed. That's what's going on here. What a game though, guys. So that's, that's it. That's it for this game. That looks so fucking cool though. With a night sky, the birds flying overhead, the lighthouse shining. Shining its big old beautiful light. Uh-oh. I think I just fell off the cliff. Or I'm stuck. I was stuck on the side of it for a second there. That was really interesting. I like this. I really do. I want to get over here to the island. And I want to just take one last look at this lighthouse, guys. Because it's, it's nice. It's beautiful. It's peaceful. There's no Bioshock moment here. <laughs> I'm not, I'm not going to get attacked by anything. There's no splicers in that lighthouse. Beautiful. Just nice and calm and serene. And I know that this is a different pace for my content. I know a lot of people watch me because I make funny jokes and whatever. Or <laughs> hopefully they're funny jokes. But, you know, as far as this goes, like I said, I just needed a quick little break here. Just needed something that sort of let me get all my thoughts out. And hopefully it wasn't too boring. Hopefully it was nice and relaxing and peaceful. And it's something that made you smile or made you calm down if you were having a busy, hectic day. But that's going to be it for this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please be sure to hit the like button. Share the video and favorite it. Also, be sure to subscribe to me if you guys haven't already. For those of you who have, thank you so much for all of your support. You guys are the best in the world. I love every single one of you. And as always, it was great seeing you. Bye-bye. Sure, big